Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another edition of Plinary Plays Death Stranding, or as we've been calling it all along, Death Stranding Meandering, uh, because I haven't been playing every single moment of this game, haven't, st haven't streamed it, but I have streamed bits and pieces here or there as we wander across the United States. United Cities of America connecting them. We are nearing the end game. We are in the like the home stretch. This episode is going to start off with some heavy exposition um, because once we go through that door, there's a lengthy cutscene. How lengthy, I don't know. Last time we talked to Hartman, it was like 20 minutes. So let's get into it. Let's see what we end up with tonight and where this takes us. Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. I'm going to be quiet while Don't this worry. goes on. I just got back. We have time. When you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in Mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and Ha failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes. And there's more. Ten seconds to cardiac arrest. Five, four, three, two, one. I modified the log times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the Death Stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. The cord shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Knot City. Dead Man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Corellium in their cells. In other words, the President's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. I've put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions. Great and small, including the big five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, our, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction-level events? You mean? Yes. 
our Death Stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? The Iceman from our five, 5,300 years ago. They both have the same umbilical cords. Ugh, bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the Iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. But some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evodevo tech. All right. How's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord, not decomposed. Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Mm -mm. No. Only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. This is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand that then evolved over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception, bound with strands. Which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, E's are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Higgs said Amelie's an EE, that she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the President is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for EE powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction? Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps not. I doubt a single EE is powerful enough to cause a death stranding, assuming Amelie is an EE. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah, this one is real. Sam, go west. How do you want me to handle Die Hardman? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. Right. Where'd all his junk go? He had a whole stack of shit when he walked in here. Hey, I got my likes back. Him and his dying every 21 minutes. Alright, here we go. It's time, Sam. When you're ready, proceed to the shore of the tar belt and begin work on the chiral relay. Once it's ready, use the cupid to bring it online. The necessary materials are prepped for you. Supplies are limited, so handle them with care. You'll be carrying a lot. 
to. All things considered, this might be one of your hardest runs to date. So I hear. Hartman knows more about the site than I do, so he'll take it from here. It's about time for his wake-up call anyway. Administering shock. Stand clear. Right. About that way station. The site we have chosen was an original candidate for the way station we lost to the top belt. Uh, ironically, we suspended construction because we deemed it a little too unstable and not worth the risk. But this time, it's our best shot. So let's hope we weren't right to change horses in midstream. Fortunately for us, the foundation we laid down is still intact. All you have to do is transport the necessary materials to the site and finish the job. I'm Hopefully afraid we can it's do the that. only way we can expand the network further west and rescue Armony. We're counting on you, Sam. So this one's gonna be a pain in the ass, huh? That's what you're saying. 150 kilograms isn't too horrible. But it's a long walk. That's for certain. Let's, uh... Let's just see what you're gonna give me here. Five boxes. So we're gonna need some carts. That much is obvious. All right, I guess now the question is, can we take the cart with us to uh, use zip lines? Let's see if we can use the cart on the floating zipline thingies. That's going to be an interesting situation. You know, if you've got a floating carrier but no cargo worth mentioning, you might try hopping on it yourself. Nope, unavailable. So... What do we have in our gear that we can get rid of? Let's see what we can offload.
noise was that? I really, really don't want to drag this stuff. There we are. Get it all on our back. We're going to donate this shit. go give people a bunch of stuff that was a pain in the ass but we did it we'll just equip up once we get to our delivery spot right why don't you say you have too much gear to, to use this Lou's having a good time. Look at him clapping. Enjoy your rock slide. I'll build a watchtower right in the middle of my thing here. I think he did. Well, this person's a dick. And I'm going to get rid of their thing. your watchtower, dude. Now watch, I'm gonna walk back over here and it's I'm not gonna be able to still hit the point. Still dick move to build a watchtower in the in the bath. I'm gonna say. That's all all that's left of that conversation. Is that's a dick move. Pretty lame that I couldn't zip line across to there. Weapons restrictions lifted. I 
It's funny early on how I used to just pick up all the luggage. Like every bit of it. Anything I saw, any cargo laying around, I grabbed it. through the snow these last two installments last several hours of the game kind of a drag really Help people like my thing here. Extremely light Everybody stuff here. Me, Don't fall. Just pick up the thing, dude. That's all you had to do. Nice. Pick up the thing. This time we have the annoying music. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Thank you to all the people that have just been dropping the signs. Excellent. Slow down. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Fire. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. There we go. Let's see if we can't use this truck. Well, we're here, might as well make an oxygen mask because we might need one. We don't know what kind of shit's coming, right? Let's rest. Get our stamina back.
I like the uh, golden red truck. <laughs> Safe house has started to to, 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 to uh, fall apart. All right. Let's see what memory BB gets. Something new. seen before definitely a limited number of those recorded accidentally punching things The game's gonna say, fuck you, here's some ghosts. Cool music. I wish I enjoyed the music, man. Like I don't, I don't like Kojima's taste in music at all. Apparently. level trust issue is that what they said <laughs> totally not meant for you to drive through here you're supposed to stroll Are we meant to be crossing the Rockies here? Is that what this is? Is that why the angle's so strange? And steep.
I like that this was supposed to be like a horrific track, and I used some zip lines and a truck to just negate all of it and be like, nope. Gonna be ghosts between me and there, aren't there? Well, there's the cross shaped building they were talking about on the thing I read. on that sensor to go off. But it isn't. Wait, I gotta clear those. I don't know how any markers got laid. I don't want to see us out here, you know? I can tell you, Sam, they're not. And I did confirm that he says that whether or not you're streaming or not. Like... Whoa, don't tip over. Took that corner too sharp, huh? All right. Sam, you need to get those materials processed in order to finish the Cairo relay. Shut up. I know what I'm doing, sir. Let's do this. See where this takes us. There's only seven more orders to go. A little bit of damage. But not nearly as arduous a, a quest as they, uh, Not nearly as arduous a quest as they said it was going to be. I'm an elite courier. All hell will break loose, because that's what this game's gonna do.
I'm so close to the end. I know there's got to be something going on. Someone said something on one of the podcasts I listened to. That I'm about to hit the stretch of game where there's like 20 minutes of gameplay and just a whole lot of uh, cutscenes. Good for Ky Chiral Relay joining the network. And with that, we're all linked up. Once you cross the tar belt, the end will be in sight. We're this close to Emily, to America's second chance. Edgenot City awaits. The staff we're sending will start by building a safe house. Over time, they'll expand their operations and establish a new facility. In doing so, they'll carry on the legacy of the brave souls lost to the tar. All thanks to you, Sam. Now, let's figure out how to get you across this tar belt. The only way west is through that. To make matters worse, I don't believe your PCC is capable of building anything that will get you across. There must be a way. We can't give up. Not with what's at stake. We'll see if we can't think of something here. But considering everything you've been through, I wouldn't be surprised if you've already got a few ideas of your own. Right, I do have a few ideas. Mostly they involve, uh... Yeah, see, we're gonna encounter ghosts if we go that way. <clears throat> Someone left an ugly-ass vehicle around. Aw, oh, really? You guys locked the door? Dicks. Let's stock up on the good stuff. Get the bugs for the blood. Alright, I got four. Here comes rain. Because of course. Nice. Read some of those emails real quick that were just popped in. Start at the bottom here. This guy's having chiral nightmares. Aaron Hill's writing stories. The Great Embarkation. Southwick, spoke to his parents. Good for him.
so what's he doing? Wait a minute, hold on. I gotta go back and read the Great Embarkation. Is he leaving? So, ah, oh, he's going to be one of the part of the team rebuilding the stuff. Hold on just a second. I'm going to reposition and get my chair closer to the TV for this final bit here. Hope you enjoyed reading that while I uh, repositioned everything. <clears throat> so Hill is going to be one of the ones that has to come out here. I like how it's footprints, but I plainly drove up here last time. So we're going to encounter some ghosts here. That much is planned. Any minute now. Because first the rain. past time and the rain won't have gone anywhere. Well, we know we're approaching ghost territory. So. How thick it's going to be. Couple ghosties right there. See if we can't disconnect that there umbilical cord problem. Woo! We thick. Stick with the ghosties.
See if we can't disconnect that nice umbilical cord for you. See if we can't disconnect that for you. Alright, friendo. Come look at me, guys. Look at me. Nope, not even gonna try. Wow, that's a big one. Across the buildings. Huh. Can't say I would have ever thought of that. Well done, Sam. Are you out there giving it your all that's hope for us yet? Get up, dude. You doofus. Intense. Platforming is not this game's strong suit. Look at that jump. Whoa. That was kind of cool. Anomaly? Okay. Make a run for it, I guess. Run and jump, 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 run and jump. That was intense. That's pretty fun, though. I mean, the uh, platforming leaves a lot to be desired, but that was pretty cool. Quite obviously, I read that that's what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to let the BTs get you. That's gross.
Drowning in tar would be horrible. Naked on the beach again. For like the fourth time in the game. That's not gonna be copyrighted, is it? That's in the public domain, right? I wasn't for sure for a second there if it wanted me to do the walking. It's probably more impressive if you finish this with a bunch of shit on your back. There's probably just stuff everywhere. Be my guess. While he was passed out, he managed to take his glasses off, slick his hair back, put it in a ponytail. Hold up in the beach nearby. Tell you what, what say we make it a race? Hmm? Whoever wins gets to usher in the end of days. Nothing like the eve of extinction bring focus to the mind. Makes folks honest. There'll be no need for masks soon. I wonder when you look 
all the time. Stop it, Higgs. Told you we're almost done. Alright. Break time for just a second. Because we're just about at the hour mark. And then we'll be back with another installment of Death stranding meandering as we push forward towards the end here try to finish it this week don't know if we're gonna do it but we're gonna try see you shortly